McClatchy Newspapers reports that this past week, the Environmental Protection Agency blocked what would have been one of the largest mountaintop coal mines in Appalachia, saying it would have caused irreversible damage to nearby streams. The EPA says it based its final decision to veto a previously granted permit for the Spruce No. 1 mine on the pollution that would have destroyed wildlife, polluted areas downstream, and increased the water contamination risks for people who live in West Virginia's already heavily mined Coal River Basin. The agency says the streams the veto protects, Pigeon Roost Branch and Old House Branch, are two of the last high-quality streams in the watershed. Environmentalists are claiming a major victory and say they hope it's the beginning of the end for mountaintop mining. But the EPA did, however, say in a statement that it thinks coal companies can design mountaintop mines that comply with the Clean Water Act. The agency made a point of saying the circumstances of the Spruce No. 1 mine set it apart. Peter Silva, the EPA's assistant administrator for water, says the proposed mine, quote, would use destructive and unsustainable mining practices that jeopardize the health of Appalachian communities and clean water on which they depend. The proposed mine would have leveled 3.5 square miles of mountain forests and dumped millions of tons of mine waste into the valleys, burying 6.6 miles of streams. Mountaintop removal mining has buried an estimated 2,000 miles of headwater streams and leveled more than 2,000 square miles of land in West Virginia, Virginia and Kentucky. Arch Coal will contest the decision by amending a case already underway in U.S. District Court in Washington, said company spokeswoman Kim Link. West Virginia's two senators, both Democrats, said they'd fight the veto.